Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Icon. Thank you so much for checking out another episode of Esports Analysis. Today, we are not going to be breaking down game field. Instead, we're going to be looking at the first four matches or day one of CDL Florida. So, before we get into this one, I will let you know that in today's video, so Friday morning's video, we're going to break down day one, so the first four matches. In day two's video, so Saturday morning's video, we're going to take you all the way up through the semifinals. In day three's video, which would be Sunday morning, we're going to take you all the way through the finals, who I think is going to end up winning this. So we're going to predict the whole thing. And then the following day on Monday, we'll go back through. We'll talk about what I got right, what I got wrong, how one team ended up winning. And then we'll go through all the different storylines that happened over the weekend. So for today, if you go and look at the schedule for Friday, it just breaks down the first four matchups and we have those right in front of us. So if we were to go through and look at the actual match schedule, that's what we'll do. So we won't go in order of group. We'll go in order of how the matches are actually going to be played out. The first match is probably the one that I think will be the easiest. I guess there's two that are really easy for me in terms of who I think will win, so easy to predict. The first matchup is going to be Paris versus Atlanta. And the one note that I'll say on this is that Atlanta hasn't looked as unbeatable as they did when the LAN events were taking place, right? They've struggled a little bit. We all know what happened during the last tournament and how that went for them. So they've shown, at least online, that they are beatable. We'll see what happens moving forward and if they improve. And this will be a good weekend for them. Um, Dallas isn't in here. Chicago isn't in here. And, of course, we can say whatever we want about Chicago. Nobody really knows where they're standing right now. But this field looks like it's a little bit easier for them to get through than other ones might have been. So with that being said, after that first weekend, especially after CDL London, I was really high on Paris and ever since then, they've just been going down a little bit by little bit every tournament. They don't look as good as I initially thought. After CDL London, I had them like five or six in my power rankings, and I just don't see them that high anymore. So with this, I think that this will probably be a 3-0 for Atlanta. So we're going to go ahead the first match of the day. We're going to put Atlanta through. Maybe... The only thing that I could see happening, and I know Atlanta is a great S&D team, but I could see some of the S&D players for Paris maybe stepping up and getting that, that S&D win. We'll see what happens, but overall, I think this will be a fairly easy matchup for Atlanta. After that, the second matchup of the day is going to be London against OGLA. And this one is one that's really hard for me to call, mainly because I've been watching London scrim the last couple days. I think it was two days ago they scrimmed against Chicago. Yesterday they were scrimming against Dallas, and they looked pretty good, right? They were splitting maps with a lot of those teams, especially in that Chicago scrim. And the other thing that has me with this is that OGLA just made the move to drop JCAP, and of course, they promoted Chino. So how is that going to play off when it comes to an actual tournament, right? We don't have the answers for that either. So I think if this was on LAN and this was three weeks ago, I think OGLA would probably end up winning this. But with all of the changes that have been made and how London has been taking maps from some of these other top teams, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put London through. Um, I'm not the most confident in that prediction. If Optic went on to win this, then I wouldn't be shocked at all. Again, I'm really interested to see what Chino brings to that roster. Um, will he give more than JCAP has given so far this year? Those are all storylines we'll have to break down and we'll have to see. But um, either way, I do think this will probably be like a 3-2. Right? I could see this going map 5. I could see it being a 3-1, maybe maybe one of those respawns end up going to OGLA. Who knows? We'll have to see how it plays out. But I do think London, with the way that they've been playing recently, will probably get the edge there over OGLA. Although Jurd hasn't really looked all that good. A lot of the maps, Jurd is last on London. And he just, um, I don't know. We'll see how he plays this weekend. But there's definitely holes in both of these teams right now. There are questions for both of those teams. So this one's a little bit iffy, but we'll go from there. Next matchup, we're going to hop over to Group A, and we have Toronto against New York Subliners. And this, even though, again, Toronto did look pretty decent in recent scrims, especially against Chicago, 
the way that New York is playing, I think this is the easiest one to call. Atlanta was easy because Paris hasn't looked that great, but New York has been looking phenomenal. The way that they have been playing has been super impressive. The way So what Mac has given to that squad, they just look like they have that SMG firepower that they were missing early in the year. And it seems like the other players are feeding off of that. It seems like Attach is really feeding off of what Mac is bringing and the rest of the players are just kind of rallying around everybody. It's really nice to see a little bit of a change from New York. So um, shout out to them. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put them through. I think this will probably be 3-0. Maybe they lose to SNG, especially to start the year. Toronto looked really good in SND to start the year. We'll see what happens in this matchup, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to say it's probably a 3-0, possibly a 3-1. And then by far the hardest map for me to call, matchup for me to call, is going to be Florida versus Minnesota. The last matchup for Friday, this one, this is a total toss-up for me. If we're talking in terms of percentages, I could see this one like I'm 51% confident in one team and 49% confident in another. So, again, this is one where if it was on LAN and if it was three or four weeks ago, my my, my guess would probably be a little bit different. But off of their recent success, I don't know how you don't put Florida through here. Again, I could absolutely see Minnesota coming out, winning 3-0, and then beating New York. That would not surprise me at all. It was just a few weeks ago that we had Minnesota as high as three in different power rankings, right? Absolutely one of the best in the game. But the way that Florida has played recently, I just don't see how you don't have them winning this. If they weren't to win, right, if Minnesota was to come out and win this matchup, okay, I'm not shocked by that at all. But... I don't know. This one, it's just, I feel like if we're talking three or four weeks ago, you had power rankings that were in any order, right? I'm not going to go through and say this team, this team, this team, but I feel like the top three were Atlanta, Dallas, and Chicago. And then after that, you had Minnesota and Florida kind of right there at four or five. Who knew where to put the other person where? And I feel like that's what's coming out in this matchup is that these two teams are really good. They're playing the best they've played all year, except for maybe Minnesota, right? Maybe Minnesota's not playing the best they've played all year, but they're still playing really well. Minnesota is that franchise of consistency. They bring it every map. They never seem phased, right? Quote, unquote, phased. But um, with this one, just based off of recent success, we're going to go ahead. We're going to put Florida through. So if we go down to the loser's bracket, that puts the matchup of Ultra versus Minnesota. And then on the other side, that gives us Paris versus OGLA. These will be the matchups that we lead off with, um, not lead off with on Saturday, but Saturday will lead off with the, the winner's bracket final here. And then we'll go to the loser's bracket final, and then we'll go... Uh, or the loser's bracket semi, and then the loser's bracket final, and that'll tell us who our semifinal teams will be. So as of right now, our bracket is set for day two. These are my predictions for day one. When I start the video on Saturday, I'll go back through. We'll talk about the matches, see where I made mistakes, where different teams performed, maybe unlike what I had predicted. And then we'll move on from there. But I feel pretty comfortable with these. Again, I think Florida and Minnesota is definitely the hardest one from here just because those two teams are playing so well. And I feel like if they played 10 days in a row, one team would win six days and the other team would win four days, right? They're just they're they're kind of the models of consistency and they're all playing really well. And then on the other side of the bracket, that matchup between OGLA and London, that's one where there's two teams that aren't quite as complete, but they're playing fairly well, and they both have question marks, right? So especially for OGLA, what will Chino bring that Jcap didn't? If he comes out and he fries and he has a really good weekend, then maybe that's the tipping point that OGLA needed. But those are all questions and storylines that we'll talk about moving forward as CDL Florida progresses throughout the weekend. So 
If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every morning. I'm going to put out my predictions video. So make sure that you tune in for that. If you have any comments, Make sure you put them down below. Let me know what your predictions are. How are your predictions a little bit different than mine? I could see some inconsistencies, right? I could see that some people might pick differently than I have. So put those down below. Make sure you leave a like before you head on the way. It really helps out the channel. And with that, guys, thank you so much. Enjoy CDL Florida. Make sure you check back here before the action every day for my new and updated videos. And with that, have fun watching the tournament. I will see you Saturday morning.